What's up, what's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. So healthcare issues are receiving much attention in both academic and political arenas. A socialist recently conducted a survey of citizens over 60 years of age whose net worth is too high to qualify for government health care, but who have no private health insurance. The ages of 25 uninsured senior citizens were the following. Suppose that the, now, so it says, suppose that the mean and standard deviation is here. So in other words, they computed something for you. And this is your so-called mean and standard deviation. Actually, maybe I should have done it this way instead. Let's do this. Let's do mean is this. And their standard deviation is this. There we go. All right. So if we assume that the distribution of ages is a bell shaped that means we have to do this and throw something bell shaped on here there we go bell shaped boom done All right bell shaped mm. yeah why not let's go a little bit bigger okay so it's bell shaped awesome now what percentage of the respondents will be between 64.3 and 93.4. Well, first, let's go ahead and fill this out. So 74.74.0, 74 so 74 is here as the mean. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 74 and subtract, I'm sorry, add 9.7. I'm going to get 83.7 and then add another 9.7, and I get 93.4, and then add another 9.7, and I get 103.1. Then I want to take the 74 and subtract 9.7, and I get 64.3, subtract another 9.7, and I get 50. 4.6 and subtract another 9.7 and get a 44.9 all right so if i remember correctly we had percentages written in all these little areas here right so if i remember correctly i had what was it um let me think here wasn't it like 34 34 then 13.5, then 13.5, and then 2.35, and 2.35. I'm trying to say it lightly because I got it right, it's so small. Uh, and then 0 0.15 and 0 0.15, all right? So now if I look at this, what are my two numbers I'm interested in? I'm interested in those two numbers, which is right here, and right here. So that means I'm concerned about this piece in here. Okay, so that's what I'm worried about. Everything in between there. And there we go. Which involves 34, 34, and a 13.5. So what is that going to come out to be? Well, 34 plus 34 is 68 plus that 13.5, which is going to give me approximately 81.5%. And there we go. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. See ya.